All right, welcome back, everybody. This morning we are talking about the third annual Women on the Rise networking event, such a huge event happening Friday, September 14th. The event is specifically dedicated to putting more women in top roles. This event is one of Seattle's premier professional networking opportunities, and that includes industry leaders ranging from higher education, tech, corporate, nonprofit, law enforcement, and government. Yeah, take it from the governor himself. Uh, joining me this morning to talk more about Women on the Rise is the president and CEO of Boys and Girls Club of King County, Lisa Chin, and of course, Keila Hall, our friend here, who's a co-founder and president of KD Hall Foundation. Women, th uh, ladies, thank you for joining us <laughs> this morning. I appreciate it. Uh, so tell us, what is Women on the Rise specifically? What's it all about? Yeah, you know, Women on the Rise, on the surface, is a conference a lot of amazing women coming together, all together to be able to talk about the workforce and their experiences of having a seat at the table. Yeah. But underneath that, it's really a capacity building project. It sure. pulls the community together, employers, colleges, nonprofits, and just everyday people. Yeah, just a very important conference, as we mentioned. Yeah. What's This is the third annual one. The what's, third one. What's the difference between this year from previous years? What can we expect? Every year we do a theme, and this year is women claiming their seat at the table. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting next to a very powerful woman yeah. <laughs> that has a seat at many tables and I think the part that's even more important than that she brings other women to those tables and so that's really what this conference is going to be about women girls and male allies all coming together listening to some really dynamic conversations at night and yeah. then the career fair I mean it's gonna be a great night yeah and let's bring Lisa into this conversation yeah. now how is the Boys and Girls Club associated with women on the rise well, Brian, I'm so thrilled to be asked to keynote the event because I'm the first female CEO in the Boys and Girls Club 75 year history. Wow. And so I'm so conscious every day that people in this position, when you're so privileged to be able to lead like this, it's our responsibility to lift other women along with us. Yeah. As a woman in that capacity, mm -hmm. do you feel some added pressure. I don't know if I'm putting words in here, <laughs> but how, how do you feel? Or added responsibility to, to bring time. more women in, all, into the fold here. All the time. We serve 26,000 young kids and half of them are girls. So every morning I think to myself, there's 13,000 little girls here. How do I authentically walk the talk? How do I lift them in the ways that I have also mm. been lifted mm -hmm. by amazing women in this community? How do I help build that sisterhood and community of future leaders? Uh, you mentioned that you are doing the keynote. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but what can people expect when they hear you speak uh, during this event? Well, it's a very personal story about the generations in my family and how together we have helped each other rise and we've lifted across ages and across cities and done that work together because it's in community that yeah. women really shine for each other. For sure. Uh, Keila, this is a big event for, for women, obviously, but this is also a big event to really network okay. with each other, correct? What, what can people do to do that? You know, it's, so it's a professional networking opportunity. Yeah. We have over 30 of our employers right here in the state of Washington that will be there hiring. We have the fire department. Department. Eastern Washington mm -hmm. just yesterday joined us and they bought 50 tickets for us to give out mm -hmm. to anyone like 25 mm -hmm. and under for, ch for ch them to be able to attend the conference if they can't afford it. So yeah. that's amazing. It's just bringing the community together so you can expect a network. Um, if you're looking for a job, you can expect that. You yeah. can expect to be in a room with women who can really make a difference in your mm -hmm. career. Yeah. It's, it's changing, life changing. V I, I would imagine. Yes. Over encompassing ladies really quickly, how, how do you feel in terms of just overall women in leadership in general. Is there still more work to be done? Can there still be a lot more to be done? Or are we, are we there yet? Are we close to being there yet? Well, I mean, I'm just going to speak to the stats. Sure. Um, currently, nationally, you have 50% of women um, in the workforce. You only have 8.1% of those women are, that are high earners. Mm -hmm. And even less than that, less than 5% are CEOs at Fortune 500 companies. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's better probably than, what, 10 years ago? Absolutely. But we have a lot further to go. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. All right, Keila Hall, Lisa yeah. Chin, thank you for joining us today. Thank Friday, you, September 14th, yes. Women on the Rise Conference. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a great event. Thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you. Appreciate it.